Freedom to Speak Up week in 2023 is about breaking barriers. Um, it's an easy thing to say, and all of us think we will speak up if something is wrong. But I can think of many examples throughout my career where I've heard of people who don't speak up, something goes wrong, and they regret it afterwards. Understanding what stops us from speaking up, I think, is really important. What are those barriers? And certainly, I think fear fear from colleagues, fear from your manager, fear of what might happen, fear of what it might mean for you personally, fear can be a big barrier. And the other one, there are many, but the other one often is a sense of, well, nothing will change anyway, so what's the point? I want to give you my word um, that I, as the National Director for Mental Health, Chief Exec of an NHS Trust, will always back your right to speak up. Um, I've got a myriad of examples of where people have spoken up, they have been frightened, they have thought nothing would change, and change has been able to happen, action has ta been taken, and worse fears have not come true. And we all have a duty to work with Jane Chiddy Clark, our National Guardian, and others across the country to create a sense of psychological safety, a sense of action. Above all, I want to say to each and every one of you that the public doesn't just hope we'll speak up if something's going wrong in services. They don't just expect that we will. They have a right to know that each and every one of us working across the country will always come forward and speak up. So freedom to speak up is a kind of duty to speak up. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for listening to me. For those of you who are thinking about maybe things on your mind right now that you now do think, I'm going to take that a bit further. Um, perhaps the last thing I'll say is that freedom to speak up guardians in organisations are a really good first point of call if you don't know where else to go. They'll have understood the barriers, they'll have understood how you're thinking, and they'll help you explore what you do next and what the next steps are. So let's break those barriers down. It feels good when we do. It makes it a better, the NHS a better place to work, and it helps us fulfil our obligations and duties to patients and the public. So 2023. Freedom to speak up, let's break some barriers.